Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Choi. In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to make neatly and easily make this camp collar. Okay, it's called a camp collar or a notched collar, right? So we'll be learning how to easily make this notched collar. If it's something you want to learn, please keep on watching. Now I'm going to fold my fabric into two and i'll be cutting the back first now i'm going to take my measurements so i'm just going to um draft a, a basic block right so if you're not a beginner like that you know how to to you know measure or draft or cut out your basic block so what i did first is to mark my starting point and from there i'm going to take my the length of my shirt so take the length of your shirt and then my shoulder of seven inches plus half that is seven and a half remember it's divided into two then from there i'm going to come down by one inch that is for my shoulder stoop and then from that shoulder stoop of one inch i'm going to take my bust line or chest line which is eight inches all right so now i'm going to just bring down that shoulder of 7.5 to my chest line to enable me create the armhole curve right next thing i'm going to do is to get my neck width and my neck depth so for the neck width i'm going to measure three inches and then for the neck depth of the back, I'll do half an inch. Yes, half an inch so that your collar would hug you at the back, right? So I'm just going to connect it to that shoulder slope like this. And then I'll just go ahead and take my bust circumference. I will impute it on my chest line there. So my bust circumference divided by 4 plus 1 inch is allowance. And then plus 1 inch sewing allowance or two inches sewing allowance as much as you like to add but remember to add your ease allowance there so i'll just mark whatever i have on my bust line there i'm going to bring it to my waist and mark a straight line yes this is because this is usually like it's a shirt okay and shirts are not usually um fitted or tight okay so i'm going to cut this out please when you're cutting add half inch on your shoulder for joining allowance now this is um for tutorial purposes as you can see this thing is very tiny my main aim is showing you how to cut that to create that camp collar or the notch collar right so let's continue so this is the back and i'll use this as a guide to cut the front so i've folded another piece of fabric into two i'm going to place the back on it and while i'm placing i'll make sure that i have five inches on the folded area like five inches extra there so i'm just going to push this as you can see this is not going to be enough but don't worry this is just for tutorial purposes um forget about this part that is not going to be enough right i'm just making sure i have five inches on the folded area for the front that is five inches extra okay that is the purpose of the camp color so i'm measuring and i have five inches there ignore this part please the material is not enough like i said this is just for tutorial purpose and it's mainly for the camp color itself not necessarily the you know the shirt so i have five inches on that area okay so now on the on this folded part of the back i'm going to come out by one inch and now this one inch i'm coming out by it is the button allowance all right so the button will overlap on each other that is what i that's the reason for bringing coming out by one inch now when i come out by one inch i will rule the line so that means what i have left on that folded area will be four inches okay remember we have five we had five inches and i moved one inch okay from the folded area of the back so what i have left is four now i'm going to create the neck width of the front for the neck width is the same as the back the neck depth for the front will now be three inches okay but the neck width of course is the same three inches i'm just going to connect it like this to create the neck um, depth of the front the neck depth is three inches as i measured 
so this is how it is i've cut it out then i'll go ahead and cut out um the then on this part that i marked which is the button allowance i'm going to pinch it and i'll notch both the top part and the bottom part it's necessary to know so that you know where you're folding right so that you know where you're folding so just notch it it's going to be easier for you so i'll slash this open because the front is supposed to be two piece right because of the button that will be at the center i'll go ahead and cut out the um, armhole and the shoulder of the front using the back as a guide right just i'm just cutting this out so that everything will be equal but remember i told you to ignore that part this is because the fabric wasn't really enough now we have this notch here this is where we'll be folding it like this okay and then um this is what we are trying to achieve so what i'm going to do next is just keep watching So on that part where I notched there, I'm going to measure 1.5 inch inside, as you can see, and I will notch it as well. That means we have two notches there. Please create your notches. It's going to be super easy for you to attach your collar. Now we have two notches. So what we are trying to achieve is this. Once I fold the first notch like this, okay, this is what we have. It will overlap for the button allowance. And then this one would open up like this. The lapel have already been formed. Can you see? So what's left is now the collar that will go around. And it will start from the second notch there all the way around to the other part. See, this is what we are trying to achieve. So I'm going to use this fabric to create the collar, the round, the collar that will go around. I'm going to use it to con so that you see what I'm doing, a contrasting fabric so that you see what I'm doing. Now I'll go ahead and join the shoulders. So I'll place the front to and the back together, front facing front, and I'll join the shoulder first with half of an inch. So go ahead and join your shoulders first. Then after joining my shoulder like, like this, I'm going to now measure the round collar in order to cut it out. So I told you that we are starting, we have two notches. The first one that will fold like this. And then the second one there, that is where our round collar is going to start from. So I'm going to take my tape, start from there and measure the roundness of this collar to the other side. I'll stop on the second notch too on the other side. Can you see? It's 15 inches is what I have. So I'm going to cut my collar of 15 inches long, right? So here I'm going to bring my fabric, then I'm going to fold it into two like this. So since I have 15 inches, I'll divide it by two and I'll have 7.5 or seven and a half because this is divided into two. I'll first create my starting point first. Then the half of 15 inches is 7.5. So I'm going to get 7.5 inches. I'll get 7.5 inches, right? I'll mark it. Then the next thing is to get the middle of 7.5. So I'm going to do that. I'll fold my tape into two to me 7.5 and I'll get the midpoint. It should be about 3.75, right? I'll get the midpoint of 7.5 and mark it. Now, the reason for this is because I want to create the slant. Because our round neck is not straight, so you want to create a slant so that it fits perfectly. So on that area, there I'll mark half inch and I'll connect it from that quarter there that I marked to that half inch, right? To create that little slant up. Then the height of my collar is going to be four inches, 
yeah ordinary is supposed to be three but one inch is for seam allowance half inch for top part and half inch to join the bottom part but when i'm marking this four inches this is our new line the straight line there is not necessary so you're going to use that slight curve there to mark your four inches as you can see that is what i'm doing all right so it's not supposed to be straight again at the upper part it's also going to be slanty a bit okay so now i've done everything i'm going to add half of an inch on this side for joining as well half of an inch on this side and then i'm going to cut this out you know this is one piece so watch what i'm cutting can you see i'm going to use this one piece and cut another one because they are supposed to be two because you're going to join the two of them together right so please it's necessary to notch now i'm going to place it on another and i'm going to cut exactly the same and i'll tell you that remember that this part this part that i'm cutting out now this down part that has a slant there yeah it's supposed to be the side we will fix on the collar right we we'll suppose it's the side that will stitch on the collar yeah, so you are going to create a, a notch at the center so that you know that this is the part you're fixing on the collar. So you're not going to fix this side on the collar. It can be very tricky. So notch it so that you know that this is the part you're fixing on the collar so you don't make that mistake. So I'm going to open this up and I'll, you attach an interface on it, a light gum stay on it. Yes, please do that. I'm not going to be doing that because this is just for the purpose of the tutorial. After attaching your interface, you're going to join it with half of an inch. But when you're joining on this part that you're going to um, sew on the neckline, you're going to leave about half an inch up there. Yes, you're not going to join to the end. You're just going to leave, slightly leave it open. I'll show you what I mean later. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is to start attaching the collar. But first I'm going to fold this like this. Remember our folding. I'll fold it in to the back. And then I'm going to stitch from that to the next notch. Yes, with a quarter of an inch. Okay just follow this process and pay attention i know it can be really tricky a little bit tricky but if you follow this process you understand i'm going to i've done that i've stitched on it from the first notch to the second notch i'm going to just flip this inside out just to show you to the front side make sure i use my scissors to bring out the pointy part Now, this is what I mean here. I also did the same thing for this other side. I'll flip it in to the right side, bring out the pointy part, the pointy part, and this is what I'm trying to achieve. Yeah. So, I still have this open, okay? We are going to finish that up with our collar. So now I'm going to stitch my collar. I've stitched on it. And as you can see on this upper part, I left about half of an inch. Okay, please do this. It's going to aid you. It's going to be super easy, like easy peasy for you to fix this collar if you do that. So I'll just cut out the excess even the edges so that everything is going to just lay flat and nice i'll turn this inside out make sure you bring out the pointy parts with your scissors or a sharp object poke it out like this i'm going to go ahead and iron this i hope you you ironed your interface on it like I said, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not ironing any interface. Besides, this fabric is stiff, so it's going to do the job. But iron your interfacing. I've ironed it, so what next I'm going to do, remember the notch we made on the collar? I'll go ahead and make, make a notch at the midpoint of my round, you know, neckline. So I'll make sure that my shoulders match, and I'll make a notch on my um, neck, round neck. 
so what i'm going to do is just poke this bring these ones out again to the back sides the part that i already stitched then i would face turn this over to the right side and i'll match the the notch of the collar to the notch on my shirt on the front this is the front of my shirt right so i'm matching the notch and i'm matching one piece of the collar just one piece first hold it down with a pin and then on this open side right sorry i'm trying to get the the light to show very well the light to be bright so that you see what i'm doing very well so i'm going to just tuck this in open it up like this that is why i said you should leave this space so that it will be easy for you open it up and place it there right there and then you cover it with this one make sure that the lines this everything is matching up you cover it like this and you pin it down okay so you're going to sew on it from starting from where that seam ended can you see that's why i use the wild chalk all the way down to the other side of the collar let me repeat this on this other side so you're going to open it up like this put this one on it open this place like this and you see and cover it up so you're fixing one piece of the collar that's why i said don't sew your collar to the end like that so that you'll be able to easily do this so you're going to pin it down as well so i'll sew on it with half of an inch take your time make sure everything aligns and if you cut you measured your round collar well and cut your collar well everything is going to align there won't be any excess so just go ahead and sew this all right and i've done that already and everything aligned i've done it already see how it looks can you see i didn't sew on the other piece just on one piece of the collar okay so now the next thing is to use the other piece of the collar to cover the seam okay see the notches match can you see so next thing is use this just use this now to cover you now poke it out just turn it to the right side like this after sewing and then the next is to use this other part of the collar to cover it so you're going to fold in a quarter of an inch or half of an inch yeah in like this and sew again on it but when you get to this side you will uh, realize that it's going to be a little bit difficult to fold in this part yeah so you're going to you know notch it a little bit just you know cut through that side don't cut through your seam just cut it a little bit so that you'll be to be easy for you to fold it in like this and continue stitching right so just fold in half of an inch in and continue stitching push in the rough edges on this side and continue your stitch i'll show you again what i mean on the other side so that it's clearer so once i poke this thing in to the front area this is what i'm going to have right so i'm going to fold in i'm going to fold in if you see here on this part if you fold it in like this, it's going to be a little bit rough a little bit rough that's why i'm going to create that um notch there a little bit of notch so that when i fold it and it's going to relax as you can see okay so I'm going to fold in my quarter of an inch on this end and start sewing when you get to that part you fold in that rough edge and sew on it until you get to the other part of the collar right I hope this is 
understood so i'm done sewing it and here is what i have yeah this is what i have i'll go ahead and iron the lapel and the collar itself and by this time you go ahead and sew up your shirt so the sides and then hem it so I'll iron the lapel like iron it flat and iron the collar itself and this is actually what all really this is what how to sew your notch collar um shirt or the camp collar so this is what i'm trying to achieve right now So now um, you, you overlap one on each other for the button. Okay, this is how it looks like. So you are going to go ahead and make your button um, holes and fix your buttons. Depending on how high or deep you want it. If you want it to be like this, you go ahead and fix your buttons from that side. If you want it to be deeper, you're going to just make it a little bit deeper. Fold it um, a little bit deeper like this and start fixing your buttons from there i hope this tutorial was helpful guys please if you found this helpful kindly hit on the like button please so that these other people can see this comment or ask me any questions if you um you're confused about anything and please hit on the subscribe button please and please it helps and thank you so much for watching to the end and see you in my next one bye